India's indigenous fighter jet program is all set for a major leap. Now, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited will conduct the maiden flight of Tejas MK-1A from its Nasik facility today. Now, designed for unmatched combat performance, the aircraft boasts cutting-edge avionics, a modern radar system, super weapon capabilities, and also a sophisticated electronic warfare suit with speeds exceeding 2,200 km per hour. Now, Tejas MK-1A, an advanced upgrade of Tejas light combat aircraft, will replace the legendary MiG-21 fleet. Now, Defence Minister Rajnath Singh will also be present to inaugurate the flight and also launch HAL's third Tejas production line along with the second HTT-40 trainer aircraft line. This event, viewers, marks a milestone for India's aviation industry, but challenges remain still. Now, the Indian Air Force's induction scheduled for Tejas MK-1A has been delayed by over four quarters, mainly due to engine supply disruptions from GE Aerospace in the U.S. In fact, in an exclusive conversation with News 9, the HAL chief spoke about India's transition to an indigenously powered fleet calling MK-1A, a symbol of India's self-reliance in defence manufacturing. Tejas was originally planned for induction in 1995 but received operational clearance only in 2011. Now several Tejas jets are ready, yet delayed due to engine supply issues from General Electric. In an exclusive with Newsline, HAL Chairman and MD Dr. D.K. Sunil discusses India's air power transformation from Tejas delays to the future of MCA and UCAVs. The MiG-21 is set to be replaced by the Tejas Mark 1A, a 4.5 generation all-weather multi-role indigenous fighter developed by HL. Designed for high-threat aerial environments, the jet represents a major leap in India's next generation air power. In 2021, HL signed a rupees 5,375 crore deal with GE Aerospace for 99 F-404 engines to power the Mark 1A. However, deliveries have been delayed with only three engines delivered so far. We are replacing it with the LCS. Uh, we have now 83 on order and another 97 we will get. So I think uh, the time has come where we move over to the newer generation aircraft. We will be able to close this 83 order by 21-31-32. We will be able to close this order, deliver all the aircraft by then. Uh, uh, GE also has assured us that they will ramp up the engine deliveries to 24. So it's, I think, dependent on this, but uh, we are building all the aircraft, our production line is running. So we will be able to close this order by 31, 32. So you are being blamed of uh, not delivering on time? See, uh, I think I did clarify even during uh, the air show when this came up, we have been working on it. And today, as you know, we have three engines already. There has been a problem with the supply of the engines from GE. They have had their own sourcing issues. And we have been in continuous engagement with them. We have got three engines. We have built today nine aircraft. They are ready. We have flown them with the Cat B engines. And we have done the contractor sorties that kept them aside. So we have nine aircraft ready as of today. And we also have some software issues regarding the radar and missile and all that's going on. So we anticipate that in October we will be able to deliver this aircraft, the three at least that we have. Uh, even uh, General Electric has assured us that they will give us uh, 12 engines this year and 20 engines the next year. Even taking a couple of, uh, maybe we'll get 10. So we feel that 10, in, 10 aircraft, 10 to 12 aircraft is definitely possible in this financial year because with the aircraft are ready built so it's now dependent on the engine supplies i think we will be able to do that so definitely uh, the production will start rolling the design and development activities are coming to a close 
with these uh, firings, the couple of, that is the air-to-air -air missile and the uh, BVR, which is the Astra. So I'm confident that October we will have some good news. India's push for self-reliance faces a key challenge, critical dependencies. Had engine supplies not relied on GE, the Tejas Mark 1A rollout may have stayed on track. That's, I think, the uh, primary discussion among all the stakeholders in this uh, environment. Uh, we definitely have to build our own engines. HL is now working on two engines. Uh, one is for the helicopter and one is for the trainer aircraft. And the government is now working on a 120 kilonewton engine for the uh, uh, DRDO is going to work on that with a, a foreign partner for developing the 120 kilonewton engine. So I think a lot of emphasis has come in the recent years on engine technology and reducing this dependence is one of the priorities. So a lot of money is going into it, but uh, it will take time because building an engine from ab initio uh, takes anywhere between seven to 10 years and a lot of investment is required. So I think uh, the journey has started. My own feeling is 10 years down the line, I think we will be self-sufficient in engines. The Tejas Mark II, a significantly upgraded variant of the Mark 1A, is under development by HAL. With plans for producing over 100 jets, it will replace the Mirage 2000 and Jaguar fleets. The Mark II is a different class of aircraft. Actually, we should not be calling it LCA because it's an 18-ton aircraft. It's much bigger, more like the Jaguar or Mirage is a much bigger aircraft. And uh, we have introduced a very innovative uh, technology-based uh, design and development where uh, the whole design is done in a 3D environment and the manufacturing is also done similarly. Uh, so the accuracies are better. Today we are in the prototyping. The design is frozen and the prototyping is going on. By the end of the year, uh, the aircraft will be powered up and tested and be ready. And the first flight should happen late end of next year, early uh, 27. We will have the first flight of this aircraft. HL aims to take a lead in the development of India's ambitious MCA program. It's a stealth aircraft, uh, essentially, uh, which will have a sp very small radar cross-section that it is not detectable by radar. That's the idea. It will also have weapons which are internal, hidden, so that, you know, it gives a very low radar signature. The weapons are hidden in the belly and uh, you deploy it and release the weapons. It also parts, uh, forms a part of the overall repertoire of the uh, Indian Air Force. You will have, say, the LZAs, you will have the Rafales, you will have the Sukhoi 30s, and the stealth also is there for certain uh, types of missions. So an Air Force doesn't depend only on the stealth aircraft. You have a different aircraft, each made for a certain role. We expect that by 2035, it will come into production, AMCA will come into production. HL is working with ADA for the design. So roughly 25-30% of the design is with HL. The balance is uh, with ADA. So we are the design partners. Till now it was uh, always HL. Uh, the government is interested in bringing in uh, more private players. So it's now an open tender. And HL will be participating on an equal footing with all the private sector. Cats Warrior, one of HL's most ambitious projects, marks its entry into unmanned combat aerial vehicles. Yeah, the CATS Warrior is our uh, foray into the UCAVs, uh, the two-ton aircraft, two, two-and-a-half-ton aircraft, which we're working on. Uh, the engine is uh, our own engine developed by HA, twin engine, and we have now integrated it and we have started the ground testing. We are now perfecting the uh, flight control loss and once that come is, uh, is done on the Kiran, which we call OMCA, optionally manned aircraft. Uh, once the flight control software is ready, it will come onto, the, onto CATS Warrior. End of next year, uh, CATS Warrior also will start flying. So that will be uh, the first foray into this. And later we will go on to uh, bigger aircraft, but this is the first uh, important project which we have taken on the UCAPS.
right, so this comes as India's indigenous fighter jet program is all set for a major leap today. In fact, we'll see the maiden flight taking off uh, from Nasik facility. Now, Tejas MK-1 is designed uh, for unmatched combat performance. The aircraft boasts cutting-edge avionics, a modern radar system, super weapon capabilities, and also a sophisticated electronic warfare suit. In fact, it has speeds which can exceed above uh, 2,200 kilometers per hour.